afternoon guys from the urban propagation here was him speaking so everything has been put together finally the front yard has a new greenhouse i've secured it to the ground with ropes added a shade cloth for extra hail protection and wind protection as well everything is strapped to the ground added some wood pieces to make sure it doesn't rip it's a little bit tighter than I would like to the fit but it's better than being loose fluffy on so, so far I've dug a trench buried the bottoms in and filled it up with soil all around there's sun coming through so they all look happy in there it's pretty decent heat holding capacity as well I'm gonna put an exhaust fan and set something up at the back so that there's more ventilation and things doesn't heat up too much I'm hoping to fix this area into some sort of greenhouse too but not sure what I'm planning to do yet I keep telling myself not to because of the tree it's like ask the council to cut, but um, they came and did a crappy job and just took two pieces of branch off. <coughs> it's still closer to the pole and possums climbing all over the place. It's just miserable. They don't want to fix anything in the council. Excuses. Have a look inside, guys. See what's happening in the greenhouse. So, you've got the. I, I'm pretty sure this is a seedling, but I'm also not so sure because it could be a piece that broke off from the lime plant, which I then turned into. A cutting so it could be that or it could be a seedling I will not know till it fruits or doesn't fruit so we have the Hawaiian goa growing in a seven gallon grow bag this is something that I've loved since I was a child and you can see the new growth there coming through. It looks beautiful. And we have red cherry guava. This one's beautiful too. Look, it's got new growth. New shoots. And this one we have some more seedlings or possibly a cutting it could be a cutting uh, I'm not very good at labeling um, because they either break or get lost so as a result I don't usually <laughs> know till last minute what is what We have a Panama Gold passion fruit, guys. Grafted variety. This is another seedling, definitely a seedling, because uh, it starts from a seed. And that's the plants I got from Daly's Fruit Nursery in New South Wales. Shout out to Dailies. Uh, they do a great job and they have a great selection. They sell out really quick and it's been uh, tough getting some plants sometime um, because of the delays. But the plant looks healthy and vibrant and 
as you can see looks really good and the temperature in here is 23.9 outside's much colder so this is great for this weather that's new shoots coming from there then we have the passion fruit that's doing wonderful this is the grafted black variety and we've got the Grafted Panama Red. That's another seedling. And we've also got the Blueberry Misty from Garden Express. Shout out to Garden Express as well. They have some great variety. And uh, this year I've been pretty fond of driving up to Monburg and picking up plants from them. And uh, guys, look at what we have here. Again, from Daly's uh, Fruit Nursery, uh, the Black Sapote Mossman. This is a evergreen variety, subtropical, tropical, grafted. Um, can produce up to half a ton, guys, half a ton. And the growth is looking beautiful I wouldn't be surprised if that's a fruit coming through right there and um, I am looking forward to growing a beautiful tree we've got the mango carabo Mango Carabo, Magnifera Indica, Rootstock Kensington, Tried Fruit Tree Grows to 5 Meters, Evergreen, Full Sun, Some Frost Tolerance, Beautiful. This beauty will be going into the garden once it's strong and large and can handle the frost. The leaves feel great. Beautiful plant. And we have here another beautiful specimen. This is this is the Keith Keith variety. It's got new growth coming through. Uh, looks beautiful. This variety is hardy as well. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to put some of the varieties outdoors. I want to just get them hardened and strong for the Melbourne frost. And once they're large enough, they'll go outdoors. This is a Bowen mango. I'm not sure. It's Kensington Pride. Ross Creek Tropicals. That's where I got these from. They are young graft varieties. Shout out to Ross Creek tropicals guys you guys uh, sent out some great looking plants would be uh, excellent to have more you know like a, I don't know the labeling for each individual one yeah this one's not bad I think it's a sin I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. If anyone knows what that means, guys, drop it down in the comments below. So we have the R2E2 mango. This one is apparently a good frost tolerant variety that's uh, suitable to grow in Melbourne. Um, native to Asia, grows to around 7 meters. A plant during warm weather in sunny, well drawn, well drained soils. Uh, yeah, this one is hopefully going outdoors, shows good tolerance to this cold and not worried about it much, just a little frost damage from before. 
this one guys look at that that looks wonderful that's a glen guys that's definitely going outdoors when it's ready it's a crafted variety as well um, guys let me know in the comments below how long do I have to wait till I can let them go to fruit because I've got some in the other greenhouse which are bearing fruit which I'll take you over and show in a minute uh, this one's doing great as you can see look at that wow guys come on if I can grow mango in Melbourne that would be the best thing ever guys couldn't ask for more that's a Nam Dok Mai beautiful variety beautiful so guys as for the front yard greenhouse currently heating up well 23.4 degrees I've got plans to grow some cherry tomatoes and some cucumbers possibly on the other side where it's sunnier we get about six hours morning sunlight here so should work out all right um at the back some flowers possibly or maybe salad greens and this is temporarily for these plants so that they can tolerate the cold because melbourne is uncertain we get one day of cold one day of frost one day of windy one day of summer one day of earthquake we aren't really sure what to expect in this kind of uh, temperate weathers where things grow beautiful but um, the weather keeps us thinking and finding solutions and solving problems so this is our way of growing guys so say bye to these beauties and i'll take you to the others in the back so this is my raised bed for salad greens i'm yet to plant anything because i've been busy with this and the kids and other things at the backyard i haven't been able to these are some self-seeded varieties going on they're still alive because this is holding water well it's basically a raised bed that effectively holds the water um, I've connected these two using a tube so the water transfers between each other but here I have yet to do that I did mark it but I did not go ahead with that I will eventually um, just an experiment guys so far so good about a year and a half now still not collapsed all recycled wood recycled pallets this is my old fence that's going into the hard rubbish some old pallets that aren't doing too good um, these are all made from re recycled pallet wood guys everything from Bunnings just pick them up cut them up and grow in them so everything here is recycled fully sustainable even the lawn this was a patch which was suffering so I just took cuttings from the lawn and put them here and tried to restore the center because the vehicle driving on it has done quite a bit of damage um, this is a trailer that I found I need to restore this this is another project that's yet to be finished then we have the strawberry hanger uh, made of pallet as well recycled the water tank I've put mushrooms to grow in here uh, these are all projects that I've yet to finish uh, quite a bit to go guys I've been busy with these that I haven't done those and got cafe lime doing well uh, I'm going to make shampoo out of the fruits so I'll make a video on that once and there and that's another seedling or cutting I wouldn't be able to tell at the minute
Guys, if anyone can recognize that plant, it'd be great to know. So this is the shaded area, keeping the fruit safe from the wind. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. But um, a few damage here and there. Not too big to freak out yet. Um, just a bit of damage there. As you can see, we have the other greenhouse. So guys, uh, I'm inside the other greenhouse which I built completely from scratch using PVC and recycled pallets. It's 30 degrees in here. I've got a fan controlling the temperature and misting system if it gets too hot. The lemon maya is doing great. It's held on to that fruit forever since last season and it's still going strong. So I'm hoping and fingers crossed that will be the first to harvest. And this was due to um, gall wasp damage. Nasty buggers. They just get in there and do a lot of damage. And um, so far it seems to be coming back strong. As for the coffee, the K7 variety, and that's a seedling as well, I think. Uh, it's very frost sensitive, very. I mean, look at the damage, guys. Since the greenhouse was done, and then it damaged uh, due to the storm, this really took a hit. And it's recovering now. We've got some new shoots coming off from there. So that seems to be working. Still life in this one. And we have a Palmer variety here, which is showing great signs that it's holding up in here. Everything will be temporary for the greenhouse because I'm slowly going to get them hardened off. And as you can see, the beauty of the asparagus. That looks amazing. How good is that, guys? So, we have visitors in here. doesn't seem to want to leave it's having a great life tropical temperature not too windy not too rainy perfect so we have tomatoes growing here I'll be thinning these out soon um, mostly going to leave one strong one here and transplant the rest into pots They'll be grown in grown, growing bags. I've got cuttings of dragon fruit, Mediterranean sweet, orange, um, perotria. I'm not sure what that is. I think it is perotria. If anyone knows what that is, guys, in the comments below again, thanks. That would be great. And um, this is a Cape gooseberry. It's third year. It's got been killed off by frost, but it's coming back again. And I'm trying to raise some avocado seedlings here. I've got the Bowen or Kensington Pride, sorry. And I've got the R2E2. So I'm not sure which one's best for raising as a seedling. To transplant onto but we'll find out alfonso india's greatest fruit this is the pride of india this is something that queen elizabeth loves shout out to the queen she loves alfonso 
and there is stories about this if you guys go out there and read so we've got flowers beautiful flowers and we've got fruit Whoa, look at that guys now tell me am i leaving this on or taking it off can this graft handle it it's not even i don't know a year old but I'm going to let this plant challenge itself till I see signs of negativity. This is a King Thai. Loves the weather in here. So let's let it gobble up that heap and see what we can get from it. As for this one, frost damage, guys. Inside the greenhouse. That's something. Hey, it was colder to the edge. And it was towards the edge, and the temperature was pretty bitter. And the Kiu Savoy, Kiu Savoy, beautiful looking fruits. Other than that, it's fine. I'll just keep in, be keeping a good eye out on that. I'm sweating, guys. It's pretty warm in here. Pretty warm. Compared to outside, it's pretty warm. And. Uh, there's something there. If I can get that to focus. That's a fruit, guys. We've got fruit of fruits. There's plenty happening in here, guys. I'm going to have to control this a lot. But this one, luckily, is a much healthier and older graft. It's completely healed, so I don't have to worry too much about it. It's a bambaru, controlling the fruits that are formed and making sure I don't let them overload might be the trick. If I can get just one, two fruit, that's fine as long as the plant doesn't die but the point is not the fruit the point is the plant hardening like it would in nature by fruiting and dropping its fruit and choosing and surviving rather than me having to baby it and do things to it that's not the point you guys i want it to survive in melbourne drop its fruits drop its leaves but survive don't die Till you're strong and old then you've acc acc acclimatized and you will survive longer <laughs> acclimatized yes and um, that's a dragon fruit cutting my neighbor gave me we have a lorion variety here also from a graph so far so good some signs of growth not doing much just hanging in there and this is a pepper guys i lost a leaf today uh also from ross creek taylor sorry ross creek tropical fruit nursery yes in queensland um I was assured that it will survive given warmth so I'm hoping to see some changes soon but um, yeah still positive still positive guys no negative vibes and we've got tomatoes okra right there tomato Tomatoes, cucumber, I've got the coffee gold, hey, that's a beautiful thing isn't it, an Arabica selection, 
with yellow fruit rather than normal red produces quality roasting beans high ornamental in subtropic dailies fruit seedling do I expect fruit from this anytime soon I don't do I expect it to survive I hope I found bugs on it this morning and I had to get rid of them. Volunteer repotted, forgotten to water after repotting because I got busy with something else. Hanging in there, hopefully survives. No space is wasted guys, no space. We've got pineapple and we have um, Some interesting thing going on on there. Roly poly. It's quite blur. Um, but yeah, it's having its feast on that plant. These guys are pretty decent at munching anything they feel is um, rotting they clean up but they clean up too much and that's problem look at this look look at where it's growing and look at the size of it that's what I'm saying guys no space is too small for you to grow anything chili from last season still hanging in there and we have a Oha Anan variety mango um, I'm not sure um, so this one's doing great no complaints so far all of them seem to be doing well pretty decent size but yeah they're all grown in pots and grow bags don't forget the date seedling trying to save it pretty decent damage on it when I was trying to get it out the ground lost a few of its brothers and sisters onions or little shallots oh the misting system just came on guys because it's 28.5 in here and I've set up the misting system to go off when it gets too hot in the greenhouse it runs on a timer uh, helps a little or a lot but can also go wrong and cause heavy watering so I have to stay on top of the timer I'm planning to put it on a Wi-Fi connected Holman timing kit shout out to Holman um, if you guys want to sponsor me that would be great I've got pretty much all your kits going on in here as you can see that's Holman so trying to get out of here before I get wet all right guys so let that do its thing and um, let's go have a look at what's happening in the fruit orchard we are in the shade area now we've got growth going crazy in this plant and also um, we've got some bugs going crazy in here look at them moving look at that a synchronized wave it's like a Mexican wave guys if anyone knows what they're up to drop it in the comments guys that is weird so I'll be doing a bit of uh, organic spraying 
but that's only if I really have to. So far it's not that bad. I've got ladybugs that come in and clean up for me and I plan to order some. Yes guys, bugs versus bugs. That's how it's done in organic farming. You use bugs against bugs guys and that's a fruit salad tree. Decent growth. Looking and hoping for more this, year, this season. My bad letting the fruits stay on too long. So greedy and that's the result. Don't be greedy. Lesson learned. So in this one, things are starting to show up. Beautiful, lush. Just a bit of frost damage, but that's to be expected. We've got the fruit salad tree here. The white nectarine and blood plum. Pretty decent. Not too many fruits, that's not what we need here. We need more growth. They will shed the fruit, so I'm not looking forward to a huge amount. This one here, the same result. Some damage from insect, trying to draw out the sugar. They work together so that they can harvest sugar. That's how it looks. Beautiful plants though from the fruit salad trees company. Um, that's the best for small backyard guys because we don't have much space to keep many trees so you have fruit salad tree. And then this is a mariposa doing very well actually really well really impressed with this one strong plant looks like it's got some shoots coming down there gonna take that off um only because it's a bit too low for my liking um it's going to hinder the fruits up higher So it's painful, but it has to be done. That's how you care. You've got to correct your kids when they're wrong. And no matter how hard is it, just stay on top of it. We've got pollinators doing their job, even in the shade. Nature, guys, nature. Pomelo, I took the last fruit off. Now it's time for it to grow. I'll be fertilizing with nice ni nitrogen and uh, potassium mix. We've got the Japanese seedless mandarin. It's looking great. And the columnar. It is doing great too. Interesting plant. And the native citrus finger limes looking good after some hard years. Um, about three years old now, maybe four even. That was one of the starts that I got initial plants. The strawberry or cherry guava that's doing great looking nice pomegranate ben her variety one of the largest variety beautiful blueberries um, not yet ripe when they do get ripe the birds get them uh, so you've got to compete on the blueberries if you've got to feed nature and yourself. I could net everything up, but um, I would just look out of place. So this is the avocado. 
used to be a skinny little thing and now it looks great all that beautiful growth but it's got heaps of ants crawling all over lots of flowers doesn't really mean lots of fruits but um, we'll see what we get I plan to turn the low branches into cuttings eventually this is a bacon avocado variety reed seedling rootstock frost hardy has been great during this winter and the granny smith the gift always giving granny smith she's always giving guys just look at that guys look at this always giving it's not true that we need only bees guys to pollinate ants do the job every thing that crawls you know gets some pollen and passes it on flies spiders us so hopefully see a nice flush of fl fruits this season but I can't wait to get the flow hive guys that's something that's been on my mind for a few years and it's just really expensive and I've had to save up a ton of money to do all this and um, still over budget but um, it's all an investment guys all an investment That's another fruit salad apple tree growing four varieties. Um, looks like it's waking up. I'm not sure if it's going to fruit well, but uh, we'll wait and see. That's a uh, spider. Ooh. Hey, that was unfortunate. I got you, little fella. Look at you. Hey there. Protecting the plant guys. Keeping all the bad bugs away. Doing a great job. Look at that. How cool. Anyway, let's move on. Huh. I was lost in that for a moment. That's a reed, guys. It's also a reed seedling rootstock. So that's an A and a B variety in the garden. This is the feijoa. It's a pineapple goa. Great growth straight from the rootstock um, of a quite elderly plant actually so guys I'm not sure what this is actually it's got growth coming through pretty well but I'm still not sure this one's got long spikes it's from a seed and uh, that's another plant that I'm not sure what is it wait and see got fig apples cafe lime 
and the newest addition to the plant nursery or let's say garden that's uh, orange mediterranean sweet looks great guys all looks too good to be true and that's uh, almond dwarf variety got two just two growing that's not big amount but if it if it stays on then it's something isn't it but if it falls off well it falls off then you wait till you get something but yeah guys it's a bit cramped up in here um i'm trying to do the max with what we have yes some people will call me crazy but um if it works it works guys you won't know till you try potatoes in pots starting to grow some burbank i think it's called pomegranate another finger lime here doing great full of flowers I'll enjoy harvesting them guys truly it's the best time best when you have to harvest finger limes look at that beauty 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 so let's head up I have plans to grow runners up here guys something to grow vertical against this wall and more growth going on there the wasabi totally out of place but doing okay not too bad iris i think and strawberries and um little feast for the bees and seeds for me for next season and we have the lavender that's going crazy it's for the bees guys i mean i don't know what to do with them so i'm probably going to turn it into oil or use it in cakes and baked goods potatoes growing in mounds whole variety of them interplanted with onions some people might say oh it won't work i say why not give it a try lemon grass trying to get them to root it's from last season it's not doing so great got a curry leaf in here which isn't doing too good probably end up buying another one put some seeds for brussels sprouts but uh, seedlings got eaten by slugs i think and carrots coming up carrots guys yeah just about anything anywhere onions in between them um companion planting guys that's how it works around here and we have seedlings yet to sprout and i'm not sure why or how long uh it's been a while now that's the trick about direct sowing guys you just sow and you wait this is for pumpkins and watermelons and beans vertical farming or growing on a trellis that's what it's all about guys small spaces try more and uh, compost area and the future surprise guys i would say if we get it done within the year then surprise 
It's been uh, sitting for a while. I'm hoping to get it done this summer. It's an uh, aquaponics fish pond system. If I can get that fixed, that would be amazing, guys. Imagine raising your own fish. I don't need to go buy fish or catch fish. I just grow fish. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's it. That's it. I'm just trying to do everything, like as much as I can. We don't live forever, but we can live well for a short time and do the most. Look at that lemon. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Nice sunny day. Rare for Melbourne. Everything's lush, looking green. Some lemons due for harvest. So this is the space, guys. We have the cleaning area washing this is the host link i asked them to come give me a hand to fix it but um i got rejected guys unfortunately uh no one's able to come give me a hand with that because i can't drill into the wall i haven't got the right tool as we need something that's more powerful than just a handheld jackhammer or jack hammer drill um yeah so I'm trying to get this out of the way and move to the front so I can fix that for the back and get rid of that. But um, that one's going to go for irrigation to the other area, so I'll be needing that. But that needs to get fixed, guys. So this is what we have to work with, guys. This needs to be fixed and put back in place. Everything in due time, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching from the urban propagation enjoy your beautifully sunny day and um, have a great one guys you don't get these days even though it's locked down in Melbourne you can make the most of it go out with the kids and have some fun see you later bye bye